talking about Torricelli's equation. Torricelli's equation is basically a derivation of um, Bernoulli's equation, which we have written up here on the whiteboard. So just step by step, I'm going to show you how to derive Torricelli's equation from Bernoulli's equation. So basically, okay, we're going to assume that work and friction um, don't play a part in the system. So we're going to set those equal to zero. Um, we're going to assume that both P1 and P2 are equal to the atmospheric pressure, so that term cancels. Then we're going to set our reference system so that Z2 is equal to zero and V1 is equal to zero. After making all of these assumptions, we also have a handy diagram here to help you visualize this, we can solve for velocity as the square root of 2GZ. So it looks like Rachel's got something assembled to help us understand this concept. What have you got there, Rachel? Thanks, Kitty. So we have here a tube with three different holes at three different heights. And what we're going to do is fill this with water all the way to the top here. The lowest hole is actually going to shoot out the furthest because it has the most pressure up on top. But because pressure decreases with height, the higher up the pipe we get, the shorter the stream will get. So this top pipe, this top hole will actually be the shortest stream. We will be testing the top hole first. I'm just going to remove the tape. So it looks like the distance traveled is about 10 inches. Now we will be testing the middle hole. So the distance traveled is about 15 inches, 15 and a half. Now we are going to test the lowest hole. Notice that this one should go the farthest. Looks like the distance traveled is about 18 inches. 